In the previous video, I gave the definition of a group, a finite group, and an abelian group. I now want to look at some various operations and sets and determine if they are groups. The first thing I want to look at is the operation AB star CD equal to AD plus BC comma BD. On the set of all ordered pairs where the second coordinate is not zero. And I want to determine if this is a group. The first thing we need to show is associativity. In order to do that, I'm going to look at AB star CD star EF. Well, starting with what's in parentheses, I need to multiply the outside thing, so CF plus the inside, DE, comma, DF. Performing this operation, we would have A times DF plus B times CF plus DE, so we would have BCF plus BDE, comma, B times DF. Now let's consider the other way. This time I'm going to have AB star CD all times, or all star E comma F. That would give me AD plus BC comma BD if I start with what's in parentheses. I then need to star that with EF. I multiply the first coordinate of the first one times the second coordinate of the second. So I have ADF plus BCF. I then multiply the second coordinate of the first times the first coordinate of the second. So plus BDE. And then the second coordinate BDF. And we can see that these two things are the same. So yes, this is associative. The next thing I need is the existence of the identity. So I'm going to look at A comma B, start with, and I'm going to call this E1 comma E2. And I need this to be equal to A comma B. While performing this operation, I would have A times E2 plus B times E1 comma B times E2 and this should be equal to A comma B and then we can set appropriate things equal so we have AE2 plus BE1 needs to be equal to A so my first coordinates are equal and BE2 equal to B and from this equation over here, we can see that E2 needs to be equal to 1. Once I have that, this becomes A plus BE1 equal to A. We can subtract A from both sides. And I get that E1 needs to be equal to 0. So I do have an identity. My identity is 0, 1. Finally, I need inverses. So what I need now is a comma b star c comma d to be equal to my identity, which we just showed was 0, 1. Performing this operation, I have a d plus b c b d to be equal to 0, 1. Setting things equal, we have a d plus b c equal to 0 and BD equal to 1, and I need to solve this for C and D. So the second equation gives me D is equal to 1 over B. So ultimately what I'm trying to find is the inverse of AB. I don't know the first coordinate yet, but we just determined that the second coordinate is 1 over B, and now we can see why the second coordinate cannot be 0, and why that is important, because I can't divide by 0. Now that I have that, this is going to be A over B, plus BC equal to zero. Solving for C, I can subtract A over B from both sides, and then divide by B. So I have negative A over B squared. So this would be my first coordinate. So now I have a formula for the inverses as well. 
So now I have associativity, I have the identity, and I have the inverses. So therefore, yes, this is a group. Now that I know this is a group, I want to know if it's an abelian group. So let's switch the order of this operation. This would be C times B plus D times A comma D times B. We know order of addition and order of multiplication doesn't matter. Both addition and multiplication are commutative. So I can rewrite this as AD plus BC comma BD. So therefore, yes, this is not only a group, but it is an abelian group since I got back to exactly what I had originally when I reversed the order. I now want to consider A and B to be two sets and I'm going to define A plus B to be A minus B union B minus A. I'm not going to directly prove this is associative. I highly encourage you to try to do that. It's probably going to be the easiest to use some Venn diagrams to show that A plus B in parentheses plus C is the same thing as A plus B plus C. But let's start with the identity element. I'm going to call the identity I. So I want to know A plus I is equal to A. Well, A plus I would mean A minus I union I minus A needs to be equal to A. And in this case, we're actually going to let I be equal to the empty set and show that this works. If we let I be equal to the empty set, then we have A minus the empty set. That's just A. Union the empty set minus A, which would just be the empty set. And A union the empty set is A. What about inverses? So now I need A plus B to be equal to the identity, which is the empty set. So we have A minus B union B minus A to be equal to the empty set. In order for this to work, in order to take two sets and union them to be the empty set, we know that each of them has to be the empty set. So we know A minus B has to be the empty set and B minus A has to be the empty set. That means for A minus B to be the empty set, everything in B must also be in A. Over here, we need everything in A to also be in B. So we need these to be equal. So therefore, the inverse of A is just itself. A plus A is going to be equal to the empty set. So now I have that this is a group. And I want to see if this operation defines a group on R cross R with the origin deleted. So all ordered pairs excluding the point zero, zero. Let's start by checking associativity. So I'm going to do AB star and then parentheses CD star EF. So we have AB star and then we're going to go ahead and do this operation in parentheses. We multiply the first coordinates to get CE minus multiplying the last coordinates to get DF, comma, we multiply the outsides to get CF plus multiply the insides to get DE. Here, we multiply first, so we have ACE minus ADF minus multiplying the outside uh, the last coordinates so bcf minus bde once i distribute the negative sign and then multiply the outsides so acf plus ade plus multiplying the insides bce minus bdf now let's check the other direction. We have AB star CD, all star EF. In parentheses, that would give me AC minus BD, 
comma AD plus BC. And then we want to start that with EF. We start by multiplying the first coordinates, that's ACE minus BDE. And then we multiply, we subtract multiplying by the second coordinates. ADF minus BCF once I distribute the negative sign. And we can see, although the order is slightly different, the first coordinates here are the same, so that's a good sign. We then multiply the outside. ACF minus BDF. And then the inside. ADE plus BCE. And so we can see that although the order of addition here is different, this is associative. Next, we need to figure out our identity. So I'm going to do AB star E1 comma E2. And I want that to be equal to AB. Performing this operation gives me AE1 minus BE2 comma AE2 plus BE1. And I need this to be equal to AB. So setting things equal, I have AE1 minus BE2 is equal to A, and AE2 plus BE1 is equal to B. And it might be a little bit harder to solve these, but we can see that if E1 is equal to 1 and E2 is equal to 0, this here works. We need this term right here to cancel, so we need we would need E2 to be 0, and then E1 to be 1. And that works over here as well. If E2 is 0, then we would have B times E1 equal to B, and E1 equal to 1 is perfect. So my identity is 1 comma 0. Now that I have an identity, I can do inverses. So this time I want to do AB star CD, and that needs to be equal to my identity which was one zero. So we have AC minus BD comma AD plus BC equal to one zero. Setting appropriate things equal. AC minus BD is equal to one. And AD plus BC is equal to zero, and now we need to solve for C and D. And while I won't go through the steps of solving this, we do get that C is equal to A over A squared plus B squared, and D is equal to negative B over A squared plus B squared. Therefore, we have that the inverse of AB is A over A squared plus B squared, comma, negative B over A squared plus B squared. And now we can see why it's important that we removed the origin. The only way for this denominator to be equal to zero is if both A and B are equal to zero, so we can consider any ordered pair with the exception of the origin.